In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make these super simple lantern style candle holders. If you sell your woodworking projects, these lanterns are an awesome thing to sell because you can build them for about five to six dollars a piece and sell them for about 25 to 30 dollars a piece. Stick around and I'll show you how I make them. For this project, I'm using poplar, and there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, poplar is super, super cheap, and since these projects are not really fine woodworking, I'm trying to keep my price point uh, to sell them as low as possible. I think I'm going to sell these lanterns with a candle for like 20 to $25. Also, poplar is a softwood, which means it will be easier to nail together with the nail gun and the air compressor. One more reason why I use poplar is because... Honestly, I think it's the ugliest wood, and so I only want to use it for projects that I'm going to either paint or stain. I can't use them in cutting boards because it's a soft wood. It's just like there's not a lot of good use for poplar, and so since this is a project that I'm going to be staining, I think it's a good way to get poplar out of my shop. I'm using 3-inch by 6-inch pillar candles for this project. I'll leave a link in the description so you can buy them. All right, so here we really have the two main components that we need for these lanterns. We have the five and a half inch square bases, and then we have the one inch by one inch uh, rod. One quick design tip with these is I would recommend, especially if you're going to sell these or give them as gifts, uh, make them varying heights. You know, keep in mind you have, we're gonna build this with a six inch candle, but maybe make some 12 inches tall, make some 16 inches tall, make some 20 inches tall and that will really uh, help you when you get to sell them. While using this miter saw, I have an ambient dust collector set up right next to it, and I'm showing you here the difference that it makes in getting the small dust particles out of the air. Be sure to also wear a mask when you're making these type of cuts. So I was just batching these out, just having a great morning, and then all of a sudden I realized I, I nailed this lantern into this table. So, <clears throat> you know, it's, uh, it's upside down. It's a good piece of decor though, so it, it's just gonna stay here. It's just, this is, this is where it is. All right, so right now we have the structure of these lamps created. So all we need to do now is just kind of do some detail work. When you're sanding these, don't try to make it fine woodworking. This is a rustic project. So it's okay if we don't sand up to 800 grit sandpaper. All we're trying to do is knock down the splinters, knock down any edges that might not be even. And also we wanna make sure during this step that we don't have any nails that are poking up above the surface of the wood.
And thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Let me know in the comments if you make any modifications to the design. I would love to know how your experience creating these turned out. Also, if you go to sell these at craft shows, let me know how did they sell for you? What did you price your workouts? Uh, all of these things I would love to know. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video and also subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.